Let's bring in Peter Schweitzer, president of the president of the Government Accountability Institute and author of Red Handed, How American Elites Get Rich, Helping China Win. And the title of your book uh, has a picture of President Biden on it and clearly points out the, the, the difficulties and the nuances here with these relationships all around the globe with China. Um, Peter, your thoughts initially on that line of questioning with how China is responding so far, quite carefully walking the line here. Yeah, I mean, China's looking out for China's interests, uh, and they want an alliance with Russia uh, because they like Russia's natural resources, something they very strongly need. On the other hand, uh, Russia's move into Ukraine has united the West, which is not something that they are particularly interested in. So I think they're they're playing it the way you would expect. Uh, they certainly want uh, Russia to succeed, uh, but they don't want the West unified in any kind of coherent way because it will make things more difficult for them. Yeah, um, we're going to go in a moment to John Kirby at the Pentagon, but I want to squeeze in one more question with you here, because um, as I mentioned, the title of your book, and we all remember that President Biden, Vice President Biden, was in charge of overseeing relationships with Ukraine. Uh, his son, Hunter Biden, had business relationships with Ukraine and China, and there's some new light shed on that, especially in light of the fact that the New York Times has now decided, actually, yes, it was Hunter Biden's laptop that all those emails about China and Ukraine business deals are on. What surfaces here that you think is going to be instrumental in looking at this Biden-China relationship now? Well, I think the thing we have to keep in mind is, as regards to what's going on in Ukraine, uh, the Biden family has received funds from three countries principally involved. They received millions of dollars from pro-Putin oligarchs. Uh, that was spelled out by the U.S. Senate in their investigation. They've received money from uh, Ukraine, uh, particularly from a company owned by an oligarch who helped put Zelensky into power. And you have the relationship with China. And, and my view is quite simple. Uh, Washington, D.C. is about follow the money. If politicians are getting campaign donations from Wall Street or big oil, that's a story. We're talking here about tens of millions of dollars that the Biden family has personally uh, received. That absolutely needs to be part of the conversation and discussion, uh, because I don't think you can separate their personal, financial, commercial interests uh, from the decisions that he has to make in this situation. Yeah, and we now know, uh, thanks to the cover of the New York Post and your reporting as well, that the 50-plus intelligence uh, agency officials from current and past who said that the Russian la that the laptop was was highly likely to be Russian disinformation uh, now are completely mum on this topic and not really fessing up to uh, any criticism that comes their way with regard to how they could make that statement in light of what we now know. Um, Peter Schweitzer, sorry our time's so short today. Uh, I hope you'll come back soon. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.